Welcome back to Do It Myself Garage. Uh, I've got the door open on the GTO here. I'm about to take out the rear seat. Uh, I'm going to have to probably slide these other seats forward. I need to get inside of there. Got to take out the entire back seat. And uh, what I did is I bought uh, Morris Classic Concepts. They have a retractable shoulder belt uh, seat kit for the uh, GTO. And actually it's listed, uh, this one here is listed for 68 to 73 GTO. And uh, they make them for many, many other cars. Um, Mustangs, Mopars, um, uh, it's got listed here. Camaro, Chevelle, Nova, Firebird. So uh, check out their kit. Um, I did get a 5% discount on purchasing this from them. Uh, actually, I'd, I had already ordered it and then said, hey, I'm going to be installing this. Could I get a code for my viewers? Well, they not only gave me a code for you guys to use, um, which will be Do It Myself Garage, if you use that as a discount code, um, but they also gave me 5% off of my order, which I thought was a, a very nice uh, thing to do. So anyway, we're going to uh, go through the instructions. They're pretty straightforward. Um, number one is remove rear seat. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's get started on this. On most GMs, uh, there's a hook on both sides. Uh, if you push in on the seat and lift, it should come right out. Sometimes they can be a little harder than others to get them out of here. Uh, so let's give it a shot. See if I can't get that thing to, to let loose. Okay, so the release was a little further to the outside than I remembered. But I did get them both loose. Just, just have to push in and lift at the same time. Now this whole seat will come out. And... Uh, yeah, I'm going to clean this up while it's out of here. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to hack up my good seats. I'm just going to tip this forward so I don't drag my rusty frame across here. Got to take out the back of the seat too. I believe there's two bolts for that. Uh, yeah, there's two bolts. Four bolts. And I don't think I ever had the bolts in there. Ha! Huh. I don't think I ever bolted it in. I don't remember. If I remember right, this just slides down in here. Boy, how did this get dirty in just a couple years? Like nobody rides in here or anything. This is just my package tray. I don't have those feet, the... You said I didn't have this bolted down at all. Let me sneak this out of here. One less thing to worry about. Alright, finally figured it out. I imagine I had looked this up the last time I did this. But, kind of the same with the bottom. We have to push in and left. Same thing here, you have to push in and left. So I got both of the corners done. You gotta do the middle. So this should be the same thing. Push in and left. And it'll push it off of the, off of the hook. There we go. All right, so now it's off the hook. But honestly, I don't know that I can get it out of here without taking out the armrests. Oh, I got it. Gotta pass the armrest. All right. I think I hooked on that side again. I gotta go back and go over there one more time. Trying to get you some good views of this. Got this other seat belt in the way I can't get rid of. So anyway, push in and left. And she should come out of the hooks. All right, so I got the seat loose. So these are the hooks that it was on. That's the middle one. That's the left one. So you got to get them up off of those. And then normally it should have been bolted to the floor in multiple places, but mine wasn't. But you would have had to have unbolted the seat from the floor as well. All right, so we're going to be replacing these floor belts with the ones from their kit. And um, I think I'm gonna take out the middle seat belt because I don't think I'm gonna ever, well, no, I wanna have five people in here possibly. So I'll keep, the, I'll keep the nicest belt for the center 
and then I'll get these installed. All right, this took me a minute to figure out. I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna have to move my container here, but on the passenger side, I've got the passenger bracket in there. You see how it's see how it's angled? From the photo, it looked like it was trying to go the other way, but the that bottom that left hole that lines up with the hole that's already in the pinch weld. So you're gonna bolt that one in, and once that's bolted in, then you're gonna drill a hole here. And then you're going to drill a hole up there and bolt it in there. And it tells you which size uh, holes to drill for those. So that's going to be my next, uh, my next step. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Uh, and then I'll be back. All right. So hopefully you can see that. I've got that little piece on there that's lined up with the hole that's already in the pinch weld. And it's a, uh, gosh, I can't remember what those are called. Anyway, they, they pinch over so they can't move. So, you know, there's no way you're going to get a nut on there while balancing all this stuff. So, um, basically, pound him over the edge of that. I had to flare it out just a little bit to get it on there. Um, a screwdriver, a smaller screwdriver will fit through that hole. So, I lined it up so I know my bolt will fit now. So, now I'm going to get it up in there, get one of the bolts in there, and then proceed with the rest of the instructions with drilling the holes using using that bolted in place as a template and then I'll pop it off of there get the other that other flare nut on there or whatever that thing is called um, uh, I'll get that other one on there and then we should be able to bolt the rest of the bracket in yeah I got the old man I'm laying in the trunk so I got that one bolted in so now I gotta drill a hole in that one and then I need to drill a hole in that one up there as well All right got the hole in the top plate it's got to be a little larger but i'm going to take the plate off of there first so i don't damage the plate i got the hole in that one and that one lines up perfectly i put a bolt through it already it fit through so i just got to take this whole plate off now i got the wrench on there already i got to take the whole plate off so i can get that that fender nut or whatever on there on that one and then drill out this one so it's a little bit bigger and then we should be all set and then I'll have to go on and repeat that on the other side. All right, on the driver's side, I ended up having the bend that flanged on a little bit. If anybody that's been watching my channel for a while knows, this car was hit on the left rear at one point. And so that's probably why that didn't quite fit. Nothing to do with the kit, just my car is off by just a little bit. The other holes seem to line up fine, so I'm going to go ahead and, and drill these and get them get them marked and then uh, I'm gonna do final assembly um, I didn't mention it before but I am using some blue Loctite on these um, the nylocks that they sent with I don't know where, where I'm supposed to use those maybe I misunderstood but you definitely want to use these these little fender nuts on here because otherwise there's, you'd be dropping dropping nuts behind and it's really hard to get your hand back in there so I'm gonna put some blue Loctite on them and everything should be good Okay, so the next step now is to mount the retractable seatbelt part, the shoulder part. Um, and you're going to have to drill a hole in the package tray. Now, my package tray is homemade, so yours is going to be different. Um, but when you were drilling that hole from the inside, if you had left your package tray in there, that might have tore it up. So that's why I took mine out. I'm going to have to mark mine from the bottom. I'm going to drill up through just so it marks it. Then I'm going to take it out and drill the holes uh, carefully so I don't tear the heck out of this, this carpet that I have on here. As luck would have it, um, I don't have to cut any holes in the actual package tray. Just the carpet. Apparently the piece that I use is only about 48 inches wide. So it ends on both sides. So I only have to poke a hole through the carpet. And that should be pretty easy to find. I can shove something up from the bottom, poke a hole through. Then I'll burn a hole through the carpet from the top. All right, so I heated up a soldering iron I really don't care about. Had already marked the back and burnt the hole through the carpet. Burnt the hole through the carpet. So now I should be able to, uh, to get those bolts, bolts through there and get the top part mounted. That'd actually be kind of nice because I've never had the uh, never had the package tray bolted down. It'll be bolted down now by default. <laughs> All right, might be hard to see there, but 
the holes line up perfectly. That's like a first for me. Um, I'm going to put a little bit uh, extra of this material under here. Um, of this this hardboard, hardy board or whatever it is. Um, so that when I put that spacer under there, I'll show you. So you're supposed to put these spacers down. And then the seat belt bolts on top of bolts on top of this. I want that to be I want that to be even because right now it's gonna sit half on half off and it's gonna be kind of crooked so I'm gonna put another little piece in there so when I bolt that thing down it doesn't look all wonky all right to do this next part you're either gonna need an eight millimeter Allen or if you're lucky like me and you have a, a, a driver set that has an eight millimeter adapter um, I could put it on a ratchet. I'm going to have my daughter come out and hold that in place while I tighten the nut underneath. Um, just so that you're aware, let me show you. I can't show you the longer bolts because they're in the car. There's four shorter ones and two longer ones. Be sure you use the longer ones or you won't be able to get uh, them through the deck and through the package tray and through the brace and get your washers on there and everything that needs to go on there so be sure you use the two longer ones all right so you can reach in there and get a 19 millimeter uh, wrench on the nut and then an eight millimeter on the uh, on the hex on top and you can get her nice and tight I'm gonna go over finish up the other side get that nice and tight uh, I had already started bolting this down uh, just trying to figure out which way to kind of twist the um, the seat belt so it has kind of a natural twist to it when you uh, when you go to put it on and then this next one over I'll have to have two in there because I have to have one for the middle seat and then we'll be all set all right so when you're installing the belts pay attention to which way they go you want them to go up because they're gonna have to come over the seat and then there's the buckle okay so I did the same thing with both of these. They're gonna be, that bracket's gonna go like that so they come up over the seat. All right, they're installed all the way across. Now, matter of getting the seats back in. All right, the seats are in, the buckles are in. When you put your seat in, kind of watch and make sure you get your belt, the bottom part, so it comes down you know quite a ways on the seat so when they go and put it across their lap that it's not stuck up higher I had to wrestle with that a little bit um, my package tray is a little pinched <laughs> so I'll have to put some screws in that to flatten that out but that's that's a, that's a me problem um, I have no idea I would imagine if you use the factory one it's gonna be okay um, but seats are all back in uh, my granddaughters can ride with me now um, again, this was Morris Classic. If you use the uh, discount code Do It Myself Garage, uh, you'll get five percent off your order. The front retractable seat belts; these are Morris Classic also, and uh, they work beautifully. I love them. I love having uh, you know shoulder belts, uh, you know that are, that retract and a person will actually use. Uh, all in all. I want to say this, you know, it's not incredibly difficult, but you got to be willing to crawl around in the trunk, things like that. Um, figure some things out. Got to drill some holes, make some stuff fit. Um, the instructions could be, uh, you could have a few more photos, but I was able to figure it out. I got it all installed. Uh, maybe this video will help. But anyway, thanks again to Morris Classic. They did give me 5% off my order. Just wanted to be very uh, transparent with that. But uh, I can't wait until my granddaughters get here later today. Uh, looks like it's probably going to rain and we'll be able to take them for a ride. Uh, but I'll be able to put their booster seats in here and take them for a drive in the car, uh, knowing that they're uh, buckled in uh, securely. So thanks again for everybody for watching. Like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions about the installation or anything uh, about the kit, uh, feel free to, to reach out. I'll do my best to, to answer your questions. 
Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.